What if there was a cure to depression, negative feelings, times where you felt like there was no hope and you just didn't know what to do? What if there was a way to conquer all this? I woke up one morning and I really just wanted an answer to this question. So I sat there and I really thought and pondered about how do we get through our problems? And it was almost instantly that this thought popped into my head, meditation. You know, you always see monks, Buddhists, and spiritual people, you know, saying that like meditation is a key to overcoming stuff and fixing yourself. But it's like, if that was so true, I was always trying to wonder why aren't pharmacies, why aren't doctors prescribing meditation to people's everyday healing processes, you know? I really said to myself, let me sit here and try myself and let's see what happens. Anyways, for all y'all who don't know, I'm Alex DeVirgo, and this is my documented journey of me meditating for seven days, and let's see how I changed my life. Let's get it. So here's the trick. I'm gonna be meditating for a minimum of five to 10 minutes every single day. This is a seven day trip. Without speaking too much, let's get to day one and see how day one went. Right now is day one. It's currently about 8.45, and I'm really just gonna focus on manifesting my dream, which is 100K subscribers on YouTube right now and to be making $10,000 a month off YouTube. So I'm gonna be thinking about being successful on YouTube and I'm gonna let my mind bring whatever it wants to bring to me. My skin's looking real mad glowy. Okay, so what I just experienced, I had a sort of realization. And I've actually realized this a little earlier into the week, but I just realized it like right now. When you just breathe, life slows down. Like I had all these thoughts rushing through my head and I had this like song playing in the back of my head, you know? The reason people start overthinking, the reason people panic, and the reason things seem to move really fast in certain stressful situations is because people hold their breath. That whole session, I was just, I had to consciously remind myself when I was thinking about stuff that I wasn't really trying to think of and when I was really trying to focus on what I was trying to focus on, to just breathe. So yeah, that's day one so far. It was a nice little 10 minute session. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. So yeah, that's how day one went. Um, honestly, I've just noticed the more I meditate, the more control I feel I have, not only over my thoughts, but just my environment around me. Like my atmosphere seems a lot less tense and more relaxed and it's a lot easier to work and move however I want in an environment like that. Now let's see how day two went. Okay, y'all, I am stressed the frick out. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like I just, Okay, so as y'all know, I got prom tomorrow. Wait, I don't know what the date is, but it's Thursday. I got prom tomorrow, Friday. And there's just some stuff that came up that recently just rearranged my whole schedule around. And at first, you know what I was going to do? I was going to say, F it. I'm just going to tell them boys that I missed the day and that I had to meditate the next day. But I actually realized this is a perfect moment to meditate, find my sense of balance, and let go of this negative energy, these worries that I'm having right now in my head. So, yeah, I'm going to get to y'all after this session. Let's get it. Okay y'all, so I just got finished with my meditation session. And I just wanted to say that like, lately I've been noticing I've been battling with my ego. I've noticed that my ego has been like, really been trying to feed off certain insecurities or just certain anxious, anxiety invoking situations in me. So I've been battling with it constantly. And during this meditation session, I kind of worked with it a little bit where I feel like ego can be used in a good way as well. And I kind of, use my ego in a good way to help me remind myself of who I was and why I don't need to have these doubts and like anxious feelings and not only that but that they're completely normal so yeah it's a little break too you know what I'm saying it's cool or whatever you know what I'm saying anyways I'm gonna go eat some Chipotle bro I'm hungry but yeah that's just how day two went you know what I'm saying I'm gonna see y'all for day three day two wasn't bad either like honestly I'm very thankful that I was able to catch myself while I was stressing because I was honestly really stressed out about, you know, getting certain situations ready for prom. But, and right then and there, I really didn't want to meditate and I really wanted to just sit there and stress about it. But I, but honestly, after I meditated, I, I calmed myself down and I talked to myself and I let myself know that like, it's going to work itself out because stuff always works itself out. As long as I put in the proper work, the universe always got my back. So yeah, not bad. Now let's get on to day three. Okay, so day three was actually the day after prom and I ended up trying magic mushrooms and I meditated while on magic mushrooms. So if you wanna see day three, 
it's gonna be right here link in the description as well of me literally on mushrooms meditating really sitting here thinking about life so we're gonna get on with day four look y'all just woke up don't mind my face if it looks a little um i'm about to meditate right now for my 10 minutes i'm gonna get with y'all afterwards pretty much when i was just meditating just now what i'm really trying to manifest is wealth abundance health and life success on youtube major success i'm really trying to blow up on youtube this summer I'm really trying to get bigger and start eventually you know obviously making money off of this so I can have more freedom in life and I can, you know, do this instead of working a real, like, a real life corporate job. But, um, I was just manifesting and really meditating on what I want and that's what I want, you know what I'm saying? So I really been focusing on trying to get that. Day four was a crazy day. Like, honestly, I've just realized more and more that life, there's beauty in everything in life and meditation allows you to get out of your ego and it allows you to not focus on so much physical stimuli that you can really tap into your mental stimuli. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, they only see the world from these two eyes right here. But like the more I meditate, I feel like the more I see the world with my soul, my energy, my being as a whole, you get what I'm saying? With that, let's get into day five. What's good, y'all? Listen, okay, so we all saw it right now. I'm about to get another meditation session in, but I decided I was going to try to do one outside since I haven't meditated outside in a while. But the catch is we're not going to do a closed eyes meditation. We're actually going to do a normal breathing meditation where I'm just outside breathing, being extra conscious, just being in the moment outside. Anyways, though, let's get it. Okay, so wow, like... I forgot how beautiful nature is in an auditory sense. Like I feel like we always can gaze our looks upon stuff, but when you actually just sit back and listen to nature, it's so beautiful, majestic, and teaching. Like I hear these beautiful chirps, squeaks, whistles. They just sound beautiful right now. You know what I'm saying? I was really thinking of a problem that I had ongoing that I've been, I'm th not gonna say overthinking about, but that has been recurringly I've been thinking about since it just recently happened to me, but I've been shedding and healing from it. And I really just been thinking about my YouTube manifesting, you know what I'm saying? 2,000 subscribers. We close. We only got like 800 more subs to go and we at 2,000, you know what I'm saying? Then we just got to get to 3,000, 4,000 and then keep making, you know what I'm saying? Start making money off this thing. But I really just been thinking about those two things. But um, nature is beautiful. Like, I feel a lot more calm and less tense than I did for sure earlier. I feel like I have a lot more mental clarity and I feel as though it kind of gave me a second win. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm going to see y'all a little bit later. Day five was like, I'm trying to play with different times and doing it at different times of the day. And I can honestly say the earlier you do it, it's like the more you get from yourself, the more questions you can ask yourself because your ego hasn't fully yet jumped back into your body with you to fully give you answers. I feel like your egotistical you versus your soul slash spirit you is going to give you two complete answers. One answer is going to be to please the ego. The other answer is going to be for the betterment of yourself and the people around you. You get what I'm saying? So meditating in the morning, honestly, I think is better, even though I don't wake up early enough to meditate all the time in the morning. You know, let's get on with day six. OK, y'all. So, boom, I just got done with my meditation session. And honestly, it was very 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 beautiful you know like i was just outside meditating and i was really just thinking about life and really just once again taking the time to appreciate nature this is and um before i give y'all my thoughts on the next scene over i just want to say like meditation needs to be studied it's a very therapeutic thing no drug no like conversation can come better than the conversation you can have with yourself you get what i'm saying so um yeah i really enjoyed this journey and i definitely recommend meditation anyways i'm gonna give it to my future self who's gonna give y'all a whole synopsis of this whole thing day six was like I'm genuinely just glad i can sit and appreciate god's creations i'm as simple as like my room like i'm just so grateful to have like a room with a bed a tv internet water i'm so grateful to have like a family a mom a, a stepdad that loves me like um Meditation that showed me to slow down and stop always thinking about what I want so much and all this and that and really just look at what you already have because they, they do say that like the universe gives you everything you need and I wholeheartedly believe that because like honestly 
I have an amazing life. Like meditation has shown me that I have an amazing life. So, you know, I can complain and stuff like that, but at the same time, don't, it reminds me not to dwell too long in that negativity because my higher self always reminds you, not only is there more internal work you can do, but you already have everything you need. You get what I'm saying? Let's get on to the last day, day seven. Day seven, which is today. Where can I even start? Day seven was, I'm kind of meditating now. That's what I realized. I realized meditation isn't just sitting with your legs crossed with your eyes closed. Meditation is whenever you see, shout out to my man's Carlos. Like say for instance, my friend Carlos who does construction. Whenever you do construction and you just look at a piece of wood and you really focus on cutting a piece of wood or you really focus on molding or stacking a certain metal, like any craft you do is meditation because you're focusing on one thing. I'm not talking about when you got a bunch of music in your ears, when you uh, trying to do a bunch of side quests, while you, but I'm talking about when you focus on just one, like me right now, I'm meditating because I'm really just focusing on y'all, y'all souls, who I'm speaking to, my craft, which is YouTube, making videos, content creation, production, like meditation has shown me that everything is meditating and everything is energy. It like reminded me of this. I already knew this, of course, because we all know this. It's embedded into our souls, but we have to be reminded of it. And it really just reminded me that like you can meditate anywhere. You just got to focus on something. And when you focus on one thing and you give it your all, you're going to be successful no matter what. Like life is a beautiful thing. And honestly, I just appreciate life a little bit more. Um, and it's definitely helped me calm down. I've noticed a lot of times in life when you're going through something or something seems hard, nine times out of 10, you're not breathing. When dudes say they want to last longer in sex, nine times out of 10, they're not breathing. They're getting all tensed up. When guys say they want to learn how to fight better and run a longer time, nine times out of 10, they're not breathing. When people say that they get nervous around people, nine times out of 10, they're not breathing. Like your breath is so important. It's literally your life. Do you know soul slash spirit is a root word for breath? You get what I'm saying? So your your life is your breath. Every morning when you wake up and you take a breath, like I don't know which I believe in, but I try to thank whatever that thing is that allowed me to w wake up because I didn't have to wake up today. I thank that because just breathing is beautiful and it's a craft. And it's meditation within itself. So anyways, look, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching the vid. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, meditation has changed my life. And um, I will continue to do it until the day I die. You get what I'm saying? So look, and even then, I'm still going to do it. But anyways, look, man, I'm Alistair Virgo. I hope y'all appreciated this video. And like, keep being great people. Keep tapping in with yourselves and keep asking questions. Because that's the only, if you're not growing in life, you're dying. So just keep evolving and growing into yourselves. And I love you all. Join the Zodiac Gang. Like and subscribe. Alex the Virgo. We'll be back with another video. I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.